Hey, folks, I'm Lucky McCoy. What say we meet today's feud and families? Our first family wants to win big. Looks like this lot are bringing a big bundle of energy to this game. You two teams are going to duke it out by answering our survey questions and trying to guess the most popular answers. Whoever has the biggest score takes on the final round with a big advantage, where the winner takes home a massive stack of cash. Are you ready for action? Let's get things rolling. It's time for the face-off. Who's playing? Let me see you up front. It's a full board. Eight answers are up there. Buzz in first to get a shot at answering our survey. If you can find the top answer, you'll choose if your family plays or passes the round. We conducted a survey of 100 people for this question. Name an animal at the zoo you would not like to be compared to. You're first. Okay, is it on the board? Elephant. You're on the board, but that top answer is still out there. What will you go for? Name an animal at the zoo you would not like to be compared to. Good. Yep. Did anyone in the survey say this? Tiger. <laughs> Nothing for that one. Time to decide, play or pass. The top answer is still up there. Let's hope the rest of this family got this. Have you got some feud for thought? Okie dokie. Show me that answer. Lion. All right, way to go, kiddo. Yes. Good answer. It's your go. What do you think? Uh. Nice. Yeah, Good. Nice. Good. Okay, could it be there? Giraffe. That's a good one, nice work. Yes. Yeah. It's up to you now. Um. Oh, nice. Yes. It's worth a shot. Is it up there? Crocodile. You failed to find an answer, which means you get your first strike of the round. Oops. Um. I'm gonna need a guess from you. Okay, then. Do we have a right answer? Hippo. Good work. Oh, uh, yeah. Do you have an answer? Uh. Great answer. Yeah. That's what you're going with? Our survey says, Jaguar. 
That's another strike. Oh. Name an animal at the zoo you would not like to be compared to. Ah, uh, yes. Show me the answer. Wolf. That's three strikes and you're out. This oh, round yeah. is getting thrown over to the other side. One answer will do it, and they can steal the round. You could steal all the points with this answer. Oh, okay. Let's run with it. Cat. You didn't find what we wanted. Our winning family. We've got some answers to go through. Number eight, reveal yourself. Bear. What came in sixth place? Pig. Number five. Donkey. Let's see the number one answer. Monkey. The first points of the game are on the scoreboard. Let's get things going with a face-off. Okay, I need someone from each family to join me up front. The top six answers to this question are up on the board. Get ready to buzz in. We took a survey of 100 people, asking them, Name a fruit that would be almost impossible to stick up your nose. You're in first. What you got? That's a great answer. Said with confidence. Let's see if you're right. Apple. It's correct, but there's a better answer out there. Can you find the top answer? It's still up there. That's your answer. Let's see what the survey says. Melon. Bingo. That's the number one answer. So what are you going to do here? Play or pass? Let's see if the rest of your team can keep things going. What do you think? All righty then. Let's see if that's a good answer. Orange. Bingo. Your guess, buddy. We have an answer. Our survey says... It's not there, which means you get a strike. You're up. What you got for me? Oh, 
Oh, yeah. yeah. Three yeah. Answer accepted. Is that one of the ones we've got left? Kiwi. Uh, Ouch. Oh, That's wow. your second strike. Give me an answer. That's Great answer. answer. That's good. Did any of our 100 people say it? Banana. Way to stay in the game. Oh. Two answers remain. I'm afraid that answer is a little too familiar for my taste. Oh, no. Strike three. The other team is in with a chance. If you want to steal this round, you need to find me a missing answer. Name a fruit that would be almost impossible to stick up your nose. Feeling lucky? Our survey said, Mango! That's what we were looking for. You've done it again. We've got just one answer you missed. The fifth answer is, Grape. Are you ready to see the scores? Let's reveal. Don't feel so bad about a big fat zero. Look at it this way. If you end up with nothing, you don't have to pay any taxes on it. Oh, oh, no. No. Are you ready for a face-off? I need one person from each family to join me up front. We want six answers. Interested in doubling your money? Because now everything is worth twice as much. We took a survey, 100 people. Name something scary you might see while riding a ghost train at the fun fair. You got in first. Good answer. Here we go then. Let's take a look. Nada. The top answer is still up there. Think you've got it? Good. Oh, yeah. Interesting answer. And our survey says... Ghost. That's a top answer. Pass or play? It's a good start. Let's see if your family can sweep up the rest. Get your feuding face on. It's your go. Oh. Yes. Let's check the board and see if it made it. That's not up there. So here's your first strike. Whoops. You look like someone who's got a good guess for us. Good answer. 
Nice. Survey says... Uh-oh, two strikes. Our other family better get ready. You got anything for us? Uh-huh. Did our survey say it? Trees. Oh. Three strikes. It's nice. time for the other team to have a crack at this. All they've got to do is find one answer on the board and they can steal the round. Name something scary you might see while riding a ghost train at the fun fair. Roller coaster. Okay. No steal. Yeah. This family have bagged the win. Let's tidy up those pesky missing answers. Can we see six? Werewolf. What have we got in five? Witch. What was behind number four? Frankenstein's monster, number three. Vampire, what was the second highest answer? Skeleton. Let's take a look at the current scores. Things have tightened up a little on the leaderboard. Time to go head-to-head. -head. It's the face-off. Can I have a person from each team join me over here? We've got seven answers this time. All right, now, it's still anyone's game because for this question, the point values are tripled. We asked 100 people the following. Name something people try to keep when they get divorced. You're in first. Good answer. That's a good answer. Got it. Did our survey agree? Money. It's up there, but it's not the top answer. Time for your guess. Name something people try to keep when they get divorced. Got it. Let's see if the board's got it. Ring. It's up there, but it's not good enough to win the face-off. So what's the deal? You gonna play or pass? They really had you on the ropes last time. Now it's time to start swinging. All right, let's hear it. Oh? Yeah, that's oh, a good yeah. answer. Okay, sure. Let's see if that's a correct answer. House. That's the big money maker. And now it's your guess. All right, let's try it. Is it up there? Show me. 
kids. That's a good one. Yeah. Name something people try to keep when they get divorced. Understood. There aren't many answers left. Is it there? Cars. Good job. Yeah. There's only two answers left up there. Okay. Yeah, that's a good answer. Are you sure about that? Will that be one of the missing answers? Pets! The board is almost clear. Yay! Just one answer left. Right. Great yeah, answer. That's a good answer. Sure thing. The survey says... Mind. And that board is clear. You win, so the points go over here. Fast money is coming up, but first, what are those scores? And here... So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so... Give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content, and if you... Saw the recent video interesting? Share the comment right below the description so you can share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So I make a happy Corona 95. You all have a great day and peace out.